For hundreds of years, music has been able to bring the Korea people of southern Kenya together. Despite modernity, initiation dances like these have stood the test of time. Just like their forefathers did, this village is preparing its young people for adulthood. Circumcision is done once every two years and is the biggest social event for many couriers. The dancing will carry on until the next day, when many young initiates will begin new lives. Every home with an initiate proudly flies a flag on their rooftop. Chacha Kenega's household is one such place. He's preparing a huge party for his daughter, who will become a woman today. Since time immemorial, Korea girls have had to undergo circumcision to earn respect. Chacha is proud of honoring his traditions. <laughs> Chacha has spared no expenses in honoring his daughter. He's hired a local band to accompany her to her circumcision. Sixteen-year-old Ryle is determined to go through the ritual. It's the school holidays now, so she'll be circumcised with most of her age mates. She's been well prepared for this day and knows there can be no turning back. In female circumcision, although we don't do it, but we have seen it being done, is whereby they chop all the clitoris off. Because of the high possibility of HIV and AIDS infections, every girl is cut by her own razor. No one is allowed to cry out, as it would bring great shame to her family. Even though the circumciser is quick and experienced, the pain is excruciating. The girls are now considered ready for marriage. Those in school often drop out to find husbands. On their walk back home, they chew a local herb to stop them bleeding. Some girls bleed to death. Many others will contract vaginal infections and have urinary and sexual difficulties for the rest of their lives. Circumcised women often have complications during childbirth. For these reasons, female circumcision is illegal in Kenya. Anyone caught practicing it can be jailed for a year or fined up to 630 US dollars. We can see it going on in full glare of the government and nobody's doing anything. I mean, like when we, before it began, they said that people are going to be arrested and so on. But now we can see them there circumcising uh, without anything happening. So I don't think there is that law as such. But many here are ignorant of this law. Kuria lies on the border of Kenya and Tanzania. It's a remote part of the country. Many of its 300,000 inhabitants are poorly educated subsistence farmers. Ryle doesn't know that she's broken the law but she is aware of the effect circumcision will have on her health. She chose to go ahead with it in order to escape future humiliation. Nearby, 14-year-old Boke is missing out on all the parties. She feels circumcision will not prepare her for the challenges of adulthood. Her decision may make her the laughing stock of her community. I wanted to be circumcised because my friends, those who were circumcised, they used to abuse me, what, and do all those sorts of things. My grandmother, 
wanted me to be circumcised but later on when I was told the baldness of being circumcised I stopped it until now I'm not circumcised and I will not be circumcised Tangia utoto wangu nilikuta wakitairi sasa kufikia saa hii nikiona watu wanakataa tohara naona ajabu kwa sababu mimi nilitairiwa mama yangu alitairiwa kufika ni saa mtoto akatae kutairiwa naona ajabu kwa sababu ni mila na desturi it may be years before female circumcision can be rooted out amongst the Korea people. Like those before them, many young girls will have to go through the practice for the sake of their community.